Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Endgame of Devil the Luck, be a landlord style drafting roguelike that I'm excited to be back to here today. We are on level 13, even though the game unlocks me two levels here for some reason. I'm going to go through them with honor in the correct order. We got level 13, Astral Necklace. We've had it before. When a cooldown hits zero, one of the adventures gain an HP. And then we have Spore Vial, which every two turns we get a parasitic fungus. It used to show up up, yeah, up here. I don't know what's up with that, so we'll just get in. But basically, it is a unit that infects my board if I don't have... There it is. Every eight turns, all nearby minions get a permanent attack downgrade if there is a minion with five or more attack. It is very weird. It's kind of like a, a pull towards either going extremely far into buffing one specific strong unit and having everything else be kind of like a supporting tool. I mean, I think we can take a tree in here. Or the other thing would be if um, we just have a bunch of things under five attack that do like a very large amount of attacks or effects. We'll see. So like goblin in mind, certainly. But yeah, uh, if we don't have two of them on the board, it is going to give me another one. So, it's not really a thing that I get to do a lot with. It has zero attack itself. What if I could get the nature minion buff? I don't know. Maybe I could buff it up. Who knows? Phantom bow is an idea. Could kind of get the blood arrow situation going. It's four turns. Every four turns, do a blood arrow. So, it's not like that low of a cooldown. I don't hate it. So there's our second fungus. Generate three if there is a dragon egg or baby dragon on the board. Generate three, accelerate. Let's get a 50% chance to get an extra minion recruit. I mean, that's <laughs> so annoying. That is so annoying. Oh, well. Um, We have the ring on that gives us sometimes another one of these right or no we t i think we took that off get another tree int. which ones do we have on yeah no an extra chance for all right well we should be getting it pretty often right a refresh and a removal higher chance for rares and also higher chance for epics and legendaries ghost parrots i'll tell you what that's definitely an idea going for something like that Currently, I don't have any units too, that are too strong, which is good. Slime. <laughs> Slime could eat the fungus, I guess. All right, I'll grab a slime. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that a slime build is really a thing. But let's just grab stats now. What is a slime build? A miserable pile of... Not very effective. Deal AoE when it... Oh, God dang it, man. I'm going to do crit does an extra 100% damage because if I get the slime going on, that'd be really good. Every four turns, generate a battle cry, which is a one attack buff for everybody. Still don't have anybody who is um, too strong yet. So we're not going to get that penalty. I'll get the bat. We just want stats. That's... A slime build is literally just grab stats. Eat the mushroom. Of course he ate... Do a slime build, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Immediately eats the worst possible unit to eat on the board. Just... Okay. And he's got five attack, which means, you know, Parasitic Fungus is going to be uh, doing its thing. We're going to Phantom Sword. We could um, remove a fungus here to kind of like reset the cooldown. That's kind of the, the little play around that we get to do. We're not going to want any... I'll take a second slime, sure. If we can eat the mushroom with the slimes, that's something. That is a thing. Hmm. 
So the, the slimes are going to be continually, like, just eating up a bunch of my stuff. Poison Imp. I'm taking the Water Elemental. We just want raw stats. Just watch the mushrooms for now. We're going to want to care about that. Damage plus one dealt by undead. Blood Arrow. I mean, I'll get the Blood Arrow does AoE effect. Why not? Go big, go home. I'll, I'll take a homunculus, and hopefully a slime will eat the homunculus. Eat the homunculus? Nope. Did not. Loaded zombie does less. Okay, so we have the hand that does two. Could get eaten. That's interesting. I'll, I'll go for that. It's going to definitely be a problem in a bit. Cleansing that fungus. If that gets eaten, we've got a problem. Okay, so slimes theoretically can't eat other slimes, is what I've been told, which is weird, but kind of nice. Okay. Click to remove, get a minion and two copies. Get the ghost parrot. How many refresh? We have three refresh. I'm just looking for large damage. Uh, giant rats could be very, very nice. Oh, shoot. That's going to do its thing. Oh, uh, we, let, we let one go. We also got an extra mushroom. I don't want to remove that one, though. Seven, six... Phantom Sword is good if we can get it to go. I'll, I'll remove down. Finding another way to get removal would be actually pretty good. Eat the homunculus! Nope. Still have a devil hand, so that's going to be a buff. The, the thought process for, like, how do you optimally do a slime build is kind of a funny, like, just keep going kind of a thing. It is a little bit weird. Just keep taking big numbers. Spear might just go away. All right, we're at 27. So the, here's the problem with what we're doing now is we're taking too much stuff. And if we don't roll... Yeah, this is the problem. That we, the slimes aren't going fast enough, but I don't really want to generate more... Hmm... Protect the diamond once, self-remove. Yeah, that's going to be better. Attack plus two for three times tentacle on the board. I guess tentacle slime as a combo here is going to be good. The, the mushroom. We need to solve the mushrooms. <laughs> Cooldown five, recruit a rare undead minion. Could that solve itself? Could that solve the slime? I mean, we don't... This is going to get eaten, right? Like, let's... Cards on the table. That's going to get eaten. I'm going to remove one of these just in case. We don't roll the two. We didn't roll the two anyways. Could have sworn we had three of them. Attack plus two per tentacle. We got a ten, a three, and a five. They're not scaling too quickly. double mushroom. We roll no mushrooms. Yeah. It's a strange meat in the middle. It's like, I want to take the rat because it's such a good thing to eat. But if, yeah. We got too much overflow. Too much overflow right now. Homunculus still has stats. This is going to remove... Don't need to remove that one. Generate a thunderstorm. I don't mind it. By the time you get eaten, it's going to be great. Okay, so we got the double mushroom. This is going to go down to one. Become the highest quality minion on the board. That's a thunder dragon, which is great food. We'll remove that. I know we're going to get another one. 
We're playing whack-a-mole with them, I'm aware. Did that not, uh, it's every other. Crit will... Every Okay, every three turns, those gain extra stats is kind of nice. Crit definitely does extra damage. At this point, what I would want is more slimes. I know I passed one up, to be clear. Okay, we got the other mushroom. I think we only had one at that time anyways. Okay, so we're at five here. We ate it. We ate something. What did we eat? Did we eat the dragon? We did not eat the dragon. Good. The dragon's getting buffed right here. We got the double. Murloc, devil hand. What do we have for devil hands? We have one devil hand. We'll, re we'll remove. Okay. Yeah, slimes eating tentacles is potentially a good combo if... I don't think it works the way you would want. I don't think it does. Like, it's a nice way to get guaranteed food. Generate a vulnerability and accelerate repeat once per... You don't want that... I don't know. You don't want that much accelerate. Because then this dies. I'll do five damage on a cooldown. Sure. All demon minions gain plus one attack on the board. That actually is... It's really good food. Can get more mushrooms here. They do more damage. Eight, seven, eleven... Two mushrooms. Did we get them both? We did get them both. Oh, he happened to be at zero. Oh, that feels bad, man. Okay, no hand eaten. Is there anything that has zero attack? There's lots of cuisine for these slimes. All right, what are you eating? All right, it's fine. What do we have for cool then? Not too bad. Not too bad. These dragons are getting gnarly. Remove the treasure, get six removal. I actually think that that's incredible for us. Gain a refresh. I feel like I need that a little bit less. I would like another slime. I know I had that guy, but getting another slime just sounds really nice. Getting another mushroom, probably. Nope, it was not on cooldown there. T-Rex is just great food. Huh. Yeah, we, we got too much stuff, so our slimes are not coming up as quickly as we would want. I mean, and it's because we have a lot of... We have eight tentacles. A lot of rats have been eaten. A lot of rats have been eaten. Here comes double food. I think my legendary got eaten. Nope, it did not. It actually didn't. Come the highest quality minion on the board? Absolutely. Our dragons haven't been eaten. I mean, we've got food. We're generating food. I don't know. Could we generate a little bit of Accelerate? Would that be fine? I, I, I think that that guy's too slow at Accelerating. So we got a copy of a, another dragon here. No, we got another one of you. Oh, that's wacky. Oh, that's wacky. 
could have gone for that. Oh, that is some weird stuff. Yep. All right. So that's going to be... Oh, God. That's so weird. All right. Eat. You're eating what? You eat... Okay, you ate something down there. That's fine. We have the dragons who are going to be really good food as well. It's tough because I don't want to... I don't want to get too much speed up because then the fungus are going to be a problem. It's unfortunate. We have enough removal that it's not that big of a deal, though. Got up to 16 just like that. After this turn, the tentacles get buffed. Good. This is weird. Okay, what are you eating? Which one are you eating? Dragon finally... Yep, dragon's finally gone. We grab another tentacle now. Six and five. This is it two. 51, 69. All right. So I think that, yeah, I guess a slime build is just part of a tentacle build. I don't really want to remove the highest right now. Like, it's not bad. It is good. I know we could, but... I'll, th I'll take a Thunder Dragon. It's, it's good food. It's good eats. Alright, what are we eating? Alright. Do the crit for three attack. Two, one, one. Have we eaten, uh... We've not eaten the old god yet. Okay. God, this is... This is a strange old mix. Chaotic, eclectic thing here. Um, it's like, it's something. 53. Let's remove them both, just in case we don't, just in case we don't roll them. 1, 3, 2. Eh. It's the fungus. Okay, so you're going to eat something. What are you at now? I'll take one more slime. I think that that pushes things back a little bit better. One, one, two. This is so weird. Just get out of here, to be honest. At, at this point, just get the hell out of here. It increases the chance we eat the old god, but... but we still haven't. We also haven't eaten the T-Rex. We did eat all the dragons. All the dragons have been eaten. Oh, the old god's still alive. Damage on the corners, why not? I think one more slime is too many slimes. When remove, gain a refresh for three attacks. Sounds lovely. I don't know if the slimes can eat the mushrooms. It hasn't happened yet. Maybe we'll now? Or, yep. There it is. There's the legendary. Legendary got eaten. I don't even know why I'd want that. 73. One of, one of, one of them's eaten good. Wait, did we just eat a mushroom? We just ate a mushroom. Okay. At this point, yeah, we need we need more food.
What are they? They're the cooldown of four. Yeah, this is... It's not the best. I do love the fact that we can eat the mushrooms. We do know that for a fact now. Bosses and self remove. It is stats. Slime's always crit. Thunder Dragon's divine for us. We love the seat. We just want food. Okay. Ancient Treant is just a truly fantastic pick for us. Because we want to eat him. He's got decent decent enough stats. It's... It's gonna go away. We've got enough removal. What did I just eat there? Okay. Wait, the big man on campus. You have six attack. You're good enough to eat, my friend. 87, 60... Yeah, there we go. We ate the old god. We also had a tentacle blow up there. Generate a calamity per eight thunderstorm. I don't know if I want the game to end quicker, though. I kind of want to get stats, so I'll say no on that. I don't want the game to be over quite yet. I want to get some stats. Then gain a refresh. I don't know. Is there something I can do to just generate cooldown three and nature minion gets plus two? Sure. Rip. All right, dwarf. Okay, dwarf boss. I should have taken. I should have taken calamity. Dwarf boss has just a actually annoying amount of health. Okay. 203 damage from that slime. I'll take another T-Rex, thank you. Dude! We're getting somewhere. It just took a long time. Move that. Okay, thankfully we got lucky and he is not being... We, we killed him before we killed his allies. That's very helpful. Kind of just looking for some raw stats. Eat him up, eat him up, eat him up. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. 102, 104, hey! Not bad. King Slime Achievement. Possess a slime with attack power more than 100. Here's the thing. Did it work? Yeah. But it was very, 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 very luck-based. We could have been screwed so easily if we ate the legendary tentacle monster earlier. We would not be at this point in, in, like, anyways. And also, here's the important note. Here's the thing I want to make super clear about this build. The thing that made it work was the infinite supply of, like, very clean tentacles. We got, like, all these extra, you know, we got the dragons and a lot of duplicatings of said dragons. And then we had all of, like, the tentacle action going on. If we just did the tentacle build with everything we had today, we had two of the old gods, we had the tentacle synergy relic, and we found a lot of tentacles early. It would have been a better run than the run we had. However, I can safely say we did it. We did a slime run. We made it work. We got the achievement uh, of get a slime that has more than 100 health. We did it. Congratulations. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, chance of getting epic minions is up, but non-elite adventurers prefer to be on the edges or corners. Interesting. That may not sound like a big deal, but that means they are less likely 
edges and corner units are less likely to be hit. Because if you're in the middle, there's more places that can surround you. If you're in a corner, you can only be surrounded by uh, three. If you're on an edge but not a corner, you can be surrounded by one, two, three, four, five. Corners can only be hit by three minions at best that are melee, at the very least. So we also have Holy Staff, which is truly, like, uh, fantastically brutal. It is the worst version of Holy Scroll. But I actually really like this. I think this one's super fun. And the, the fact that you get extra chance for epic minions means that it's more fun to play as well. Like, it's a bad, a bad and a good at the same time. I love it when games do that for increasing difficulty modifiers. Like, ah, yes, you are doing a more challenging run. But when you get past Ascension 10, you get like this little tiny trinket that definitely does not offset the difficulty. But here you go. It's a, like... You know, like, uh, the first thing that comes to mind is, like, a Wild Frost. You turn on Challenge Bell modifiers for it. It makes the game slightly harder in a way, but it also gives you an additional tool that, if you know what you're doing, could mean that it's actually better to turn on the, the bell, the difficulty bell, because if you know how to use the buff that it does give you, it could offset and be more powerful of a run. And I like that concept for difficulty. I think it's a fun angle. But last, last, that is that. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelikes more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.